Hello, this is the Canadian Witch. Uh, tonight I decided that I would go on Facebook and ask some of my friends who are in that Wiccan or Pagan or Witches um, if they could ask um, a question to a Witch or a Wiccan or Pagan, what would it be? So I got a couple of questions. I answered them personally to them first and then I'm doing the video right now to put it on YouTube to see the type of questions we could be asked. So first question was, can we really cast a spell, heal, destroy? Um, and if so, is it like voodoo or some type of inner power we can tap into? So to this question, uh, yes, we can cast spells, roll spells, we can heal, we can destroy, um, but it's up to uh, the witch to decide what she's gonna, he or she's gonna do. Um, personally, I would never do a spell to harm or destroy someone. I have nothing against the binding spells, but it's not something that is harmful or that would destroy someone. Um, and still there's healers that can heal. And is it like voodoo or some type of inner power we can tap into? Well, with voodoo, voodoo, um, unlike the popular uh, way of thinking, uh, it's not all bad. Uh, with voodoo, you can do bad or good. Um, the human is made in a way that we can do, we can choose between good and bad. So within all type of practices, we have the choice of what we want to do. So of course, inner power as well, it's, it's your own energy that you build into making your magic. Um, without the energy that you, you build, without your, um, your, yeah, your inner power, what you build from the outside that you bring inside to come out again with intentions. It's for the the way that I would um, describe uh, doing spells or heal or even destroy to someone that would be um, Christian or from other type of religions. Uh, let's say someone who pray who pray. Um, People pray f for help, for to heal someone that they love. Uh, even someone could uh, pray to uh, have something bad happen to someone. So to me, a spell is a bit like prayer, because you you put your intention in your prayer, just almost like we we do with our spells. So that was the first question. Then the next question was, did you decide to be a witch, Wiccan, or Pagan? No, sorry. Why did you decide to be a witch, Wiccan, or Pagan? Well, personally, uh, and I think I can talk for some others, um, but for me personally, I didn't choose to be a witch or a Wiccan. It chose me. Uh, since I'm very young, I can do magic. And my own beliefs from a very young age are uh, Wiccan. And I, I, at the same time, I can still recognize myself as a pagan, so I'm very eclectic. And 
so yeah, just, uh, normally uh, a lot of us, uh, those who are serious about it, it's not that you choose to be a witch or a pagan or a Wiccan, you, you just are. Then third question, it was, do they have the ability to know the answers to all things? Like, for example, little numbers? Well, no, we don't have the answer to all questions. Um, of course, uh, who wouldn't want to know everything? But at the same time, uh, there's things that we would prefer not to know even when we know. So, we don't know everything. And as far as lot of numbers, if, seriously, if witches could know the lot of numbers all the time, we would be so rich. And I wouldn't have been on welfare for a couple of years. So, witches would be the richest people in the world if we could know the numbers and use it. Because even me, if I if I had a vision of the lot of numbers personally from my my own um, way of thinking, I wouldn't use the numbers. I it's I guess I'm not materialist enough and into the money enough to use. The, the my gifts to to give myself the money but of course if i win the lottery it would be uh by luck because i never choose my numbers myself if i uh, play lottery and last question is is there life after death well, I, I'm i going to speak for myself because I know not everybody um, has the same way of thinking. Um, depending if you're just a witch or a Wiccan or pagan. Personally, um, I, I think I talked about it in another video. But for me... Uh, after that it doesn't end there there's to me there's like a part of your soul that remains on earth um, which in a way makes that you can um, come back as a spirit or a ghost or to be able to communicate with the living once you're dead and then what I believe is that once you're dead you go in kind of in Summerland waiting for people who don't know Summerland I could call it like heaven for people who believe in heaven and then when your next life uh, comes back uh, arrives I mean uh, in my own belief my personal belief I, to me, when you reincarnate, um, another part of your soul follows you to your next life, which explains why, um, at least for me, that you can remember things of your past life, so you can have visions of it. So, if you unless you had no past life ever that it's your only first life on earth i you won't be able to have visions of past lives or even just like going somewhere and have that feeling that you were there before or that you meet someone for the first time but you feel like you know them even though you never met them ever. So yeah, that was my answers to the questions I received from Facebook. So I'm gonna do another video like that another time. I thought it was cool to get questions.
questions from people who has n no link with witchcraft or Wicca or paganism. So I hope you enjoyed it. So until then, take care. Plus be. Bye.